Yeah, the wake-up call is, is really the, the right expression. Thank for you. For Gino and his team. I mean, they, they were, it, sometimes you need a loss. To, to you'll hear your coach differently, you know, and mm -hmm. and, uh, and they all change their, their tune and their focus, and they're a much better basketball team as a result of it today. Huskies in the road, national flag, blue uniforms, Creighton in the home whites. Nelson Nadota wins the tip, and we're underway with UConn's first ever visit to DJ Sokol Arena and Creighton. Nelson Nadota. Others with a long pass for Mule. Yeah, she was just fading to the left. That's why it came up short. A little bit off balance. So point guard has been a source of concern for Creighton. Our starting point guard Tatum Rembaugh is out. Eight to shoot. Harum from the outside. Shot misses the mark. Creighton very much a three-point shooting team. In the game back on December 17th at Gamble, they started off 0 for 7 from 3 in the first quarter. Here's Nelson Adota for 2, no. They are a little nerved up being at UConn, playing the Huskies. I expect a different Creighton team here today. Back to to Sarda, defended by Westbrook. Boys Bachelor, ball knocked away into the hands of Ron Sick. Nice up and in for the freshman. Great is such a good basketball team. I love the way they run their offense and execute. Nice job by Ron Sick to pick up the errant ball. Beckers for three. Yes. Paige Beckers doing what Paige does to get the Huskies on the board early. It is not a shot that's out of her range. Cutting, Ron Sick, ball knocked away out of bounds by Westbrook. It'll be 14 to shoot for Creighton. And wisely, you know, Becker's got the ball. And, okay, if you're not going to guard me, I'm going to shoot it. You have to be in her face and make her put it on the floor. For the best in the nation at three-point field goal percentage, you'd best have someone close by. Shot clock down to seven. It cut off. Warwick gets the shot to go at the buzzer. They're going to have a look and make sure that uh, the shot was released in time. I thought she got it off. Let's take a look. She yeah. did. So that will count, and a good three, and already in this game on their home court, the Blue Jays starting off much better than they did back at Gamble. I mentioned that game on December 17th. 0 for 7 from 3 in quarter 1, 0 for 11 from 3 in the first half for Jim Flannery's team. It was out of her hand. All right. John Capolino just coming over and saying their check of uh, their replay monitor said no, did not get it off in time. And so take the three off the board for Creighton. Flanner's going, come on, we're at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought she got it off. Shows you what I know. Well, he does that sometimes, isn't it? Nice pass by Beckers. Now Mule. Yes. You know, that, skip, that skip pass made the defense move. Quick ball movement, Mule was open. Ronsi cut off nicely by Nelson Dota. Sarda. Four point lead for the Huskies. Mule will take an open three again. That one hits the back of the iron. Nice rebound from Kristen Williams. Uh, another facet of Williams' game. Tracking down that offensive rebound, keeping the possession alive. Ten to shoot for the Huskies. Mule will take the shot and make it. She's like, is she smiling? She's like, do I take this three times in a row? And she's been struggling with that shot from three. We've got a couple on the board already tonight. Warwick, no. A quick release Warwick has. Ball 
skittered through to Beckers. Avina Westbrook runs the floor and just couldn't get the shot to go. And came off hurting a little bit. Westbrook grimacing on the way back down the court. Well, that has since disappeared from her face. Pass missed. Bachelor cutting. Here's Buell with the Huskies on the run. Beckers. Nicely done. Really nice catch by Beckers and a good look by Mule. Nine point lead for UConn. Sardo for three. No. Man, they have quick releases on offense, don't they? Three point shooting is what the Blue Jays do. When the shots fall, they do well. When the shots don't fall, they get results like they got on Monday night in Marquette. And they suffered a very frustrating defeat. Ten to shoot for UConn. There's Beckers. To an open mule. Another one. Well, I joked with Gino today about some things about Nika, and I said, you know, you worried about her shot because she's been struggling lately. He goes, nah, she'll be fine. And the turnover, and Mule's going to add another couple of points to her early total. And a timeout taken by Creighton as UConn goes on a 16-0 run after the Blue Jays scored the first two points of the ball game. Nika Mule drink, dropping him from three. The defense turning into offense and another two. Well, you know, Gino has thought so highly of Mule since she arrived, and... Her toughness and her grit are really what set her apart. And, and if she can be consistent scoring like this, they are a completely different and far better basketball team. Last four games for Nika Mule, three of 16 from the floor, two of 14 from three. And already in this game, in less than five minutes of play, <laughs> she has equaled her season high of points in a game at 11. Huskies apply a little front court pressure now. There's Morgan Molly into the game, one of the handful of freshmen on this Creighton squad. Jim Flannery is excited about going forward. Diarica Pryor handles the ball here, three. This is Peyton Brodsky, 10 to shoot. Sarda takes it all the way in. What a tough take by Sarda. What a savvy play to elude the outstretched arms of Nelson Dota. Breaks the long dry spell for the Blue Jays. Huskies back on offense now. Kristen Williams to Adina Westbrook. Ten to shoot. Williams into traffic. Got it up to the rim. No, no foul call in the jostling. Kind of a disjointed offensive possession there for the Huskies. You got to give Creighton credit. Good defense and good defense here by Mule. Another steal and another layup end to end for Nika Mule. Well, that's one thing Gino said to me today. I talked about how she's been getting beat defensively. He said that's because she's always trying to go for the steal. It's working in her favor tonight. Sarda, instead of throwing up the three, break into the basket, taking the pass and putting it in. Good execution there by Creighton. Gino Oriema was screaming at Kristen Williams that possession for that defensive breakdown. Mule will put a two and drop it. Basket must look like the Grand Canyon tonight for Nico Mule. You can just tell the confidence every time she shoots it, she thinks it's going in. Ron Sick? No. Kristen Williams running. Nice pass in. And a bucket. Three minutes to go. Quarter number one from outside. The shot by Dwarks off the mark. Good rebound by Westbrook. About Avina filling up the stat sheet in other ways. Pass into Nelson Adota. She just wasn't. It was a little. It, it was a little too hot, I think. A little too hot. Yeah. 
as Wadzik slipped away from Beckers, and she'll get knocked on the head by Westbrook as she puts the ball up and in. Emma Ronsick, the freshman from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the only Blue Jay in double figures when Creighton played at Gamble in December. Creighton is such a smart basketball team, and that was just toughness by Ronsick to get that ball to go in, but they read the defense so well. They pass well, great cutting. Yep. yep. <laughs> Can't get the free throw. Becker's cut off by Ronsick. And miscommunication between Newell and Kristen Williams and a turnover by UConn. Gracie Griglione into the game for Creighton, wearing number 12. Junior from Truro, Iowa. This team has been decimated by injuries. They've had to reinvent themselves almost every two weeks. Frosty decides not to shoot the three with Beckers flying at her. Here's Sarda, guarded by Newell. Skip pass from outside. Chloe Warren gets the three. The kid who walked on as a freshman and earned a scholarship last year, knocks in the three. Love it. Williams posts up and puts it up and in. Nice recognition that time by Williams, knowing that she had a smaller player guarding her, post up and score in the lane. Another one of those assists from Olivia Nelson Adota also. Sarda gets around Nelson Adota, goes all the way to the rim. Well, see, that's the problem because Sarda and, and the back the backcourt of Creighton, really all the players can shoot threes. You go out, and then that time she went right by her. Levina Westbrook. And nobody there for the rebound for UConn. are cutting Glorick, but she threw it over the top of everything. What a great cut, though, and a nice pass. Westbrook again. Same result. Final 30 seconds of this opening quarter. 11-point lead for UConn. Jim Flannery yelling out signals and coaching calls from the background. Shot clock down to five. Sarda works the screen. Blocked. Brodsky shot blocked by Beckers, and it's turned over on a time violation to UConn with 10.4 to go in this opening quarter. I'll tell you what, Westbrook. With Beckett Kumo, Alan Bestwick, DJ Sokol Arena in Omaha, Nebraska on the campus of Creighton University where Nika Mule has led the way for UConn. 15 points on 6 of 8 shooting, 3 of 5 from outside. Paige Beckers has 5 points, 2 of 2 and 1 of 1. And we start with the Blue Jays with the ball, almost knocked away by Aubrey Griffin on the very inbound pass to start this second quarter. Williams, Griffin, Mule, Edwards, and Beckers, the five on the floor for the Huskies. Leading scorer for the Blue Jays is Tenny Sarda, wearing number four. On six, defended by Griffin. There's Morgan Molly driving, cut off. Kristen Williams will follow. A little contact shoulder to shoulder. And that'll be the first on Kristen. Morgan Molly, one of five freshmen on this Creighton squad. Getting a lot of playing time this year. Ronsick, another. Now Sarda. Driving, blocked by Griffin. Yeah, you, Griffin is such an incredible athlete to be able to jump. And Sarda, you, we've seen her get that shot around Nelson Adota's long arts. Long arm outstretched, but my goodness, Griffin is incredible. Ten to shoot for Creighton. Fumbled away. And that will be a backcourt violation and a turnover to UConn. Points, yeah. points off turnovers in that first quarter, Meg. 12-5 for UConn in their favor. 
And those are the turnovers that just, they make you crazy, those unforced errors. Yeah, just looking away from the pass before you've got it in your hands. Kristen Williams off the Edwards screen. Edwards skies for the rebound, and she will get called for a travel. <laughs> You see the shot coming off. I love how she goes up for it. Okay. All right. And another errant pass by Creighton and a turnover to UConn. Jim Flannery, in his 19th season leading this Creighton program, he's had winning seasons in all but four of those years, over 500 seasons. This year has been a challenge with numerous injuries. And they had an entire month where they didn't play a ball game. It's going to be a foul inside on Parham as she got uh, a little nudge on Aubrey Griffin. 21 to shoot. Williams strong with the left hand. And she's going to get called for the offensive foul with a clear out with the right. I was just going to say that's a great play by Kristen Williams. Uh, you know what? That right arm. That's a good call. We couldn't see it from our vantage point, but that's a good call by the official. 14-point Husky lead. Ward. Sorry, inside to Ronson. Shot clock went out. She takes it strong to the rim, way over the top. Aubrey Griffin with the rebound. Tries to post up. Double team feeds it out to Beckers. Short on the three. Aubrey Griffin fights for the rebound. It's tipped to Sarda. Blue Jays with numbers. Good patience by Timmy Sarda, the senior from Lakeville, Minnesota. Yeah, that was just really good timing. Leah Edwards just went down in traffic and is limping. It looked like she twisted her ankle. Beckers. That's a two. Olivia Nelson Adota quickly up and headed back to the scoring table to check into the ball game for UConn. There's Horan. Skip pass over to Dwork. Ronson. No. Ball on the floor. It'll go right to Mule, and the Huskies will advance quickly. Fast paced game so far. Both ways, right? Edwards tries to drive, high glass. What a great take by the freshman. She's just so strong. I'm good, coach. It just stunk for a minute. Sarda, yes. That's for three. Yeah, she's got such a quick release, Sarda. Screen, feeds it back to Edwards from just inside the free throw line. Misses. Aubrey Griffin will tap the ball trying to get the rebound. It then goes off to Warwick and out of bounds. How about this? Face up and then just aggressive take. Split the defense. Shoots it high off the glass as she's fading to the right. Strong. So Leah Edwards will go to the bench. Kristen Williams will take a break as well. Nelson Adota back in the ball game. She'll get pushed in the back by Gracie Griglione and fouled as she tried to get the high pass. Westbrook also back into the ball game. 20 on the shot clock for UConn. on that possession by Creighton, but the Huskies just kept it moving and got an open shot. Prior, the long pass over to Molly. That shot is short. Yeah, 
If she had more confidence, she would have shot that ball, Westbrook. Lakers missed that one from three. Rebound by Bianca Pryor. Jays run. Here is Sarda. Bachelor drives, defended well by Aubrey Griffin, who got a block. And Beckers intercepts the pass. Two for Paige. Beckers is an outstanding defensive player. I mean, there it was just really good anticipation stepping in that passing lane. She is a much better defensive player than people realize. And gotten better as the season went on. It is prior for Creighton. Down to 10 to shoot. And there's Aubrey Griffin with another steal. into a posting up Griffin, strong to the rim. Aubrey Griffin for two. Aubrey Griffin has been outstanding in everything she's done so far. Time up. Of this team, and certainly of number five. <laughs> and her phone's about to blow up. Of course. Just saying. Now Paige tonight with nine points, four of six shooting, five assists, and only one turnover. A couple of rebounds as well. So 37-18 Huskies here. Four and a half to go. Quarter number two in their first ever visit to Creighton. Sarda. Way up high because she knew she had to get around Aubrey Griffin and it missed everything. And Beckers just went down. No foul and no harm, it doesn't appear. Kristen Williams back into the ball game. Beckers off the Nelson Adota screen. Too strong. Outside, that's Molly. No. Molly struggled so far here tonight. 0 for 3. Gets back defensively to cut off Griffin. Forces the Huskies to back out and reset. Griffin. No. Well, there's a reason they're going to leave Aubrey Griffin that open. She's not known as a three point shooter. And that's a. A really good decision by Creighton. Force her. You want her shooting the ball instead of Beckers. That's only the 15th three-pointer that Aubrey has attempted this season. And she has made three of those 15. Look at uh, some of the numbers. Creighton again struggling with their outside shooting as they did at Gamble back in December. Knocked out of bounds by Beckers. 19 to shoot for Creighton. <laughs> Mule back into the ball game. <laughs> Ten to shoot. There's Dwork on Westbrook. And to throw it up over Beckers. Rebound knocked out of Dwork's hands by Westbrook. Great play by Westbrook and a quick step by Tuara to get by her. Nelson Dota posts up. Huskies will kick it out. Westbrook will reset the offense. Three to go here, quarter number two in Omaha. Williams for three. No. Nelson Dota gets the rebound around three Blue Jays. Williams will drive, cut off. Kicks to Westbrook. Got it for three. And that one's got to feel good to Avina Westbrook. You bet. One of three from outside now in this ball game for Westbrook. 22-point lead for UConn. They led by 27 at the end of the first quarter of the game up in stores. I checked that, 17, I'm sorry. Here's Westbrook again. No. Notice there was no hesitation that time. Yep. Back three point. Oh, what a pass from Beckers. Just a little too hot for Westbrook to handle. Gary Apple and Kara Walters coming up from the studio with all the first half highlights and analysis. It's the UConn Women's Basketball Halftime Show presented by Ford.
leading scorer in the ball game. Nika Mule with 15 for the Huskies. Timmy Sarda leading the way for Creighton with 11. Brodsky with the cut. As it struggled to grab the pass, Westbrook fights and gets the rebound. That's an extra step. A little nonchalantness there for Mule. Yeah, it was a good call. She did walk. Well, there's a lot, been a lot to like about Nika's first half, for sure, in this game tonight. But, of course, in the pursuit of perfection. Here's Sarda. Kicks to Brodsky. Well short on the shot. Rebound fought for. And there's going to be a foul. And that is going to be, I believe, on Parham. So the sophomore from Burnsville, Minnesota, fouling the freshman from Hopkins, Minnesota. That would be Paige Beckers. Leah Edwards back into the game for UConn, and Avina Westbrook will take a seat. Minute 15 to go, quarter number two. Huskies winning the battle of the boards. Beckers tried to put a short skip pass into Nelson Adota. Couldn't be handled. Moran. Looking for help, finds it, and par. Bronson. Blocked by Beckers, still got it up onto the backboard. Huskies run, Kristen Williams will take the contact. And that'll be a tied up ball. Possession arrow will keep it with UConn. No matter what a play by Teddy Sarda. What an effort by Sarda to not only get back, but get her hand on that ball. <laughs> you see Kristen Williams' face going, what? How is that not a foul, she's thinking. Hold in! <laughs> Williams drives. No, gets her own miss and puts it in. Like the aggressiveness there by Williams. She's just got a different mentality these days. Four points, two of seven shooting in this first half for Kristen Williams. Shot clock is off, down to the final 15 seconds of the second quarter. Seconds, one second. Sarda throws up a long one that goes at the buzzer for three. Wow, Sarda has had an outstanding first half. After being held to three of 11 shooting up at UConn, Temi Sarda, after a cold start from long range, went inside, and that's kind of freed up the outside game, too. Look at this. Well, high note to end half number one on their home court for the Blue Jays, but the scoreboard still heavily favoring the Huskies, who ride a performing those three. The fabulous freshman. Two of the freshmen on the floor to start the second half. Mule, Beckers, joined by the three junior leaders, Williams, Westbrook, and Nelson Adota. Tammy Sarda will inbound the ball for Creighton, number four, to start this second half. Leading scorer for the Blue Jays with 14 points. Sarda for two. Yeah, she did. She used the screen nicely. Yukon got tied up defensively. Sarda is a savvy senior guard. Beckers. Yes. Uh, quite savvy is this freshman used that screen perfectly. Apparently the union negotiations went well. <laughs> Here's Warwick. Shot clock down to 10. Ron Sick. Harm. Sarda chased way out by Nelson Adota. Now drives, throws it up, side of the backboard. Three, two, 
Beckers from the free throw line. No. Well, the message was received that Gino <laughs> wanted Beckers to shoot the ball more. She's taken the first two Husky shots of this third quarter. by Nelson Adota. Looking for someone to move, finds Ronsick. Ronsick into traffic, hits a cutting. Bachelor, who gets the shot to go. Carmen Bachelor. Yeah, what a great cut by Bachelor. With the shot clock running out on him, too. Westbrook for three. So far, a tentative start. Yeah, not played at the same pace that the first half was played at. Yeah, which was breakneck speed. Tend to shoot now for Creighton. Well, what has remained is UConn's really good defense. Ronson kicks to Sarda. Shot off the mark. She was off balance when she took it. Huskies run. Beckers cut off. Tried to feed Nelson Adota. Sarda was there to intercept the errant pass. Sarda stops and drops it. Well, Parham did a nice job on the other end to deflect the pass to Sarda. Sarda had four points in the game at Gamble. She's got more than that in this third quarter already. UConn's execution is not what it was. Nice pass by Mule to Nelson Adoto, who was ready for it. Really good, aggressive take. Getting in the gaps. Nelson Adoto guarding Parham. Tried to cut, that was cut off. So shot clock at 10 for the Blue Jays. Harm. No. Well, we talked about the, the Huskies passing on the pregame show. Here's another example. Well, I just love the great aggressive take to the basket around her defender and then the pretty dish. 13 assists for the Huskies on 39 made baskets. Nice pass. Nelson Dodo, and one. Another great execution. Look at that, nice coming off the screen. That was just a beautifully executed play. Morgan Molly with the foul inside the restricted area. So Nelson Adota adds the extra. And uh, that puts her up to five points on the night so far. But eight assists for Nelson Adota. Here's Greg Leon. Now Dwork. Yes, that's three. Chloe Dwork. Sinodota posts up, spins, shot short. Very quick possession. The game's picked that pace back up again that it had at the end of the half. Brodsky lost the handle. Huskies run. Becker's out ahead, but Mule chooses to take it all the way herself. Way short on the shot. Mule looks tired right now. Blocked. Kristen Williams got a hand on that shot from Dwarick. Williams. Westbrook now they'll settle it down here. Gino yelling, shoot it. Instead, she makes a nice pass to Nelson Adota. What a pass from Westbrook to Nelson Adota. Aubrey Griffin and Aaliyah Edwards at the scorer's table ready to check in for UConn. Halfway through quarter number three here in Omaha. Sarda drives. Blocked by Nelson Adota. 
Westbrook runs the floor. Nice pass from Tristan Williams. Westbrook down behind the play, gets back up. What an outstanding pass from Williams. Griglio on that sharp, well off the mark. I think she thought she was fouled. Kristen Williams ahead of the pack. Timeout, Creighton. So after a tentative start to this third quarter, the pace is picked up in favor of the Huskies. The passing has gotten more crisp. Huskies by 25 here in Omaha, as uh, this, the pace of this game has really gotten frantic in the last few minutes. So check out this possession. Paige Beckers is up here, okay? So as their offense goes, the ball is on the right side of the floor. She goes off that screen from Westbrook now. Nelson Adota sets a screen right there, okay? Now because Becker's defender is, is trailing her and this kid's got to go and switch, that's what makes her wide open. If you set a good screen and you force the switch, the screener's always open. Great read by Becker's. 17 assists on 24 made field goals in uh, this game for the Huskies. That's a trademark of the team. They've always shared the ball exceptionally well. Five assists on six field goals this quarter for UConn. Becker's got a hand on it. And will retrieve. Aliyah Edwards, Aubrey Griffin into the game with Kristen Williams. Becker shoots off the mark. Edwards with the putback. Edwards has been so physical in that lane. Pass thrown away by Morgan Molly, leading us to the media timeout midway through quarter. And, you know, you look at this team and you see it building at the right time, including Beckers in her game. Yeah, I mean, she's had an outstanding season, and, and Gina Oriema does such a great job of getting the, the kids ready, particularly at this time of year, getting them ready for postseason. But she, as she alluded to, until he is not complaining, well, be prepared. He will always be complaining. Becker's on the bench for a spell here. Westbrook, yes. Really nice take by Westbrook. It's a nicely executed play by UConn. Applause from the coach over on the sideline. 29 point lead for UConn. They led by 21 at halftime. Here's Sarda. This time Aubrey Griffin defending. Aubrey had a real impact in the first half of the game when she came on the floor. Good for Morgan Molly for three. Nice to see Molly not going down. She struggled in the first half. Talking about Aubrey Griffin, it may not show on the score sheet, but she was a defensive force in the first half. There's Nika Mule. That shot does not hit the mark. Sarda leads the break for Creighton. Molly again. That's way outside. No. Rebound knocked into the hands of Mule. And the Huskies look for some running room. Leah Edwards tried to post up, defended well there by Molly in the paint. Griffin to a cutting Edwards, lost control of the ball. Big collision there, and that will be a foul on Creighton. No, that's going to go on. Was it on off? Did he point the other way? Edwards. Yeah, okay. well, it was a bad pass from Aubrey Griffin. She drilled it to her, so it made her lose her balance, and then she went flying. Into the defender down there, Jamie Horan. I thought he gave the block signal first, but my bad. Aaron pass intercepted by Edwards. Griffin will slow it down to Westbrook. Inside of two minutes to go in quarter number three. Edwards has it knocked away from her. Bodies on the floor. Great hustle. Sarda has it. Moran back to Sarda. Kristen Williams defends Sarda. That'll be a kick ball. 
as Mule got a right foot on it. Next UConn game on SNY is Saturday. The Huskies travel to Indianapolis to take on Butler. Coverage starting with the Cadillac pregame show at 4 p.m. only on SNY. Looking forward to seeing Hinkle for the first time. Yeah, I've not been to Butler. Can't wait to get there. Sorry, defended by Mule. Mule did a nice job of keeping her in front of him. Ron now. Shot clock running down. Warren throws a long one up. Over Kristen Williams, long rebound into the hands of Marley. Here's Sarda into the paint. Left hand, nice move. A great finish in there by Sarda. She's so good at slicing into the lane. Twenty points for the senior, Tenny Sarda, leading the way for Creighton. Kristen Williams pulls up. Edwards with the rebound. In traffic. Keeps it alive. Ten to shoot. Edwards posts up. Travel. I thought they were going to follow her for a walk, dipping in that left shoulder. She had steps first. Yeah, that left arm too. See, and that left shoulder. I thought they were they were going to call her for the offensive. It gets away with just the travel. Uh, Avita Westbrook to the bench for UConn. Paige Becker's back on the floor. Griffin intercepts that pass, but it gets knocked back to Sarda. Down to the final 10 seconds of quarter number three. Bronson puts Robin the long one up. Shot short off the mark. Rebound UConn, and Aubrey Griffin can't handle the pass, and that is how quarter number three is going to end. Well, UConn, three turnovers in the last three minutes and doesn't score in the last three minutes, but still has a big lead on Creighton. Just to start the fourth quarter for the Huskies. Sinodota from top of the key. Here's Sarda for Creighton. You watch Timmy Sarda, Jim Flannery tells us she never stops moving. I'm exhausted watching her. Mule with another steal. Protects, but can't make the layup. Well, she also got away with a little offensive foul, I thought. You can view a little left elbow. Watch when she steals it. Really good steal. Persistence. Watch her left arm here. Kind of pushes the kid off. Actually... I'm not sure whether... They, did they call a foul on her there? They did call a foul Oh, on they her. did? Okay. Yeah, okay. Very late signal. Play that will be a foul on Beckers. So 20 seconds on the shot clock for Creighton. Sarda drives. No. That oh, was a great drive, too. Too bad she couldn't get it to drop. Look at the defensive hustle to get back in front of Beckers. Nelson Adota posts up. Yeah. Calls for it again. Yeah, I love how N Nelson Adota, she was fouled. Strong move, draws the foul on Ronsick. It's a late whistle, too. I just love the aggressiveness with which Nelson Adota is posting up. She wants the ball. She wasn't doing this in the beginning of the season. We talked about how the juniors are playing so well right now. Part of it's that mindset. They want to, they want the ball. They want to lead. Talking with Olivia Nelson Adota earlier this week during a media availability, said, "Did it feel different after the break? After that post Georgetown game break?" She said, "Definitely. This team feels different." She's used the word mentality a lot, also to describe her play lately. A lot of it too, playing in this program, is just their maturity as you play within this program, knowing what's expected. 
Ten to shoot for Creighton. Fryer in trouble. Ronsick heaves one up. Good fight for the rebound, and Huskies come away with it. Beckers feeds a running mule. Two big steps in a bucket. They got the ball up the floor in a hurry. So Nika Mule having the scoring game of her UConn career so far. Up to 17. 10 to shoot already for Creighton. Sarda defended by Beckers. There's Dwork. No. Rebound by. Edwards and she will be fouled in the fight. Drive of the game is presented by Nissan. I think Nika Mule has driven brilliantly today. Well, and a good pass here. Nice. I, I like the execution, knowing you don't have to waste any time with the dribble. Just take it in and finish. Seven of 12 shooting, three of six from three, three rebounds, three assists. And only one foul for Mule. Beckers to Nelson Adota. What a pass. And again, that, that pass, the timing of the pass was perfect. Double-double for Olivia Nelson Adota tonight on that bucket. 11 and 10. Fifth time this season. Mismatch here. Beckers anticipates and steals. And draws a foul. Both players down hard. Both just, players up and okay. A little nervous and went down hard, but see, there was a mismatch there. Paige came over to get her player. And you see the hard foul. Thankfully, both kids okay. And Sarda kind of shaking her wrist as she got up, and Becker's standing at the free throw line, ready to try and add to her 11 points on the night. makes them both. She's one of four from three-point land tonight. Savior game Saturday was only the fifth time this season that Paige Beckers was under 50% from three. Ronsick defended by Edwards. In trouble. Gets some help. UConn's done a really good job on Ronsick here tonight. Shot clock down to five. Floor will throw it up, almost get it to go. Nelson Adota with good position for the rebound. Huskies run. Edwards ahead of the pack. What a pass. Again, as a post player here, if you run the floor, your guards will find you. 10 0 run to start this fourth quarter for UConn. Ronsick. They'll call Edwards on a foul as she knocked the ball away. How about, watch Aaliyah Edwards. Look at her run up the floor. I guarantee you there aren't a lot of big players, post players in the country that can run the floor as hard and as consistently hard as Aaliyah Edwards. We talked about at the start of the fourth, that freshman connection. Nice up and in by Ronsick for the inbound play for Creighton. Mia McLean in the ball game. Olivia Nelson Adota has gone to the bench. Edwards sets the screen. Beckers couldn't hit the shot. Ronsick with the rebound. Good screen by Edwards, too. Beckers anticipates the pass, knocks it away. Creighton ball, 25 on the shot clock. Paige Beckers, 4 of 5 from... Excuse me, 5 of 11 from the floor in this one tonight. Nine assists. Bachelor defended by Mule. Here's Sarda with Beckers guarding her. Also the screen from Parham. Throws it up with the right hand. She is so tough to guard. 
Very crafty. So many ways that she can score. Season high, 22 points tonight for the senior Temi Sarda. How many kids can say they score their season high against UConn in their senior season? Beckers, no. Rebound to Sarda. her head up and just always watch as the play was developing. Beckers calls Williams out for the ball. McLean sets the screen. Kristen Williams for three. three. 72-41 for the Huskies as we get down under four minutes to go here in Omaha. Again, kick outside, nobody guarding Parra, and she drops the shot. And a lot of players from Minnesota in this game. Williams, Curls gets the foul. So, timeout with three minutes and 26 seconds to go in quarter number four. The free throw line after getting fouled, leading to the immediate timeout. Kristen, one of four Huskies in double figures on this game tonight. Beckers picks up the turnover. A little contact there. Beckers, I thought, was going to get called. Either Brodsky or Beckers were going to get called for a foul for pushing. McLean rolls. No. Aubrey Griffin back into the game for UConn. Here is Sarda. Think about that. She's got 22 points tonight. Tammy Sarda does. Of Creighton's 43. And I don't think she stopped moving the entire game. Add two more. What a night for the senior from Lakeville, Minnesota. Especially after having only four points in the game at Gamble in December. Kristen Williams. That's three. Kristen just keeps playing better and better and better. 32 point lead for UConn. And a whistle for subs. And so Paige Beckers will lead the ball game for the Huskies as Sailor Poffenbarger comes in. Piaf Gabriel will come in and get Kristen Williams. So Becker's one assist shy of a double-double on the game tonight. Kristen Williams with 16 points, four rebounds, two assists. And now two minutes away from UConn claiming outright their 20th regular season championship. Blocked by Mir McLean. Now McLean looking to uh, leave an imprint. On this ball game, you see the five on the floor for the Huskies. Molly, shot clock running out. Feeds underneath. That's going to go off a of foot. And he's going to put 20 seconds back on the shot clock because Muir McLean kicked the ball away as the shot clock was running out. So it's Creighton possession with the 20 seconds to shoot. Yes. 
Yes, that's for three. Six of 24 from outside tonight for Creighton in this ball game. Ball slips through Gabriel's hand. She retrieves. McLean gets her own miss. But can't get it back to go. Yeah, the refs are letting them play. A lot of contact in there. Championship, a regular season championship. We mentioned last game when the Huskies clinched a share of a share of the title. That, uh, that these things mean something to Gino. They're valuable. Well, they, they do to, to Gino and the and the staff and the team and the program because it means over a long period of time you were you were a champion. You know, you were consistently night in and night out the best team in the conference, and that's a big deal. Gino said winning the conference regular season championship is always goal number one for the season. Goal number two is win all your conference games. And then you get on into the NCAA tournament and try to play for a national championship. Mule. Gonna finish the night the way she started. That's a two. It was, it was great recognition by Mule. Okay, no one's guarding me. I'm gonna shoot it. Shot from Morgan Molly off. McLean fights for the rebound. Gabriel ends up with it. Well, Mule started this game red hot from outside, pulled off a little bit in the middle of the game, but she is gonna be the Huskies' leading scorer on the night, especially since the only one who close to her on the score sheet is on the bench already, which is Kristen Williams. Offenbarger with the skip pass to Griffin. She drives, nice floater from Aubrey Griffin. Just so fluid, the way she plays. Incredible to watch. In their 247th week, ranked as the number one team in the nation, UConn claims the Big East Championship outright for the regular season, their first since the 2010-11 campaign. But it's the Huskies 